By now, you have probably heard about the that girl trend, the it girl trend, all of these things that are circulating around on social media. Now, it really, to me, always looks like the girl who's got a really aesthetically pleasing life and seems to be just thriving in every capacity. Now, that is totally attainable for you too, even if you're completely far away from it right now. But a couple things I want you to remember on this journey to becoming the it girl of your life, and that is that it doesn't have to break the bank. Really what it comes down to is just making sure that you are the health Happiest, happiest and most polished version of yourself. And so I have a really simple four step process that's gonna help you achieve that, especially without breaking the bank. So I'm gonna break it all down for you today in the easiest to follow crash course to becoming the it girl in your life. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tessa Bella, AKA Billion Dollar Bella. And one of my main goals in life is to help you make manage and multiply your money while living your best soft girl life. That is what we're here to achieve. And so this four step process to becoming the it girl in your own world is guaranteed to get you that much closer to it. So when I talk about the four step process, I want you to think about these four environments. First up, you've got your physical environment. So this is going to be your home. It's the area that you live in. It is how you've cultivated your personal space. Second is going to be your mental environment. That is everything that's going on up here in your mind. Next is your social environments. So that's like who you hang out with, where you hang out, who you follow on social media. And last but not least is your body environment. So that is how you look, how you feel, how you smell, how you present to other people. We're gonna go through each of these environments and give you some realistic ways that you can polish up each and every single one of them so that you not only feel more like the it girl, but you also present that way to others. Now, before we dive into this exercise, one thing I do think is really important is that you have to define what this looks like for you. So what I would encourage you to do is actually give yourself a quick rating right now on a scale of one to 10 for each of those four environments. Now, really try to assess how you feel about each and every single one of them, because it's gonna help you hone in on really where you wanna put more of your effort, attention, energy, and money in order to level up in that specific area. We're gonna kick things off with environment number one, which is your home environment. It is your physical environment. So I want you to think about the area that you live in right now. When you're in your home or your bedroom, wherever you reside and spend majority of your time, how does it feel to you? How does it look to you? Do you feel like it is your absolute sanctuary and heaven? Or does it make you kind of feel a little bit chaotic and messy? I like to believe that we are a product of our own environments and you would be blown away at how many things are within your control right now about your physical environment. So even if you don't yet live in your dream house or your dream apartment, you can still make your space feel so much better. And I promise you that is going to be the foundation for really living your best it girl, that girl life. So a couple of tips that are going to help you improve your physical environment. Number one is what I like to call the closing shift. I personally find that if I ever let things stack up, it tends to become really overwhelming for me. And that's when I find myself procrastinating more often than not. I'm talking about laundry, dishes, cleaning the house, things like that. And so instead of waiting or setting a set day to do those things, I like to just do a closing shift every single night. So it's the last couple minutes before I crawl into bed, I do a quick vacuum of my whole house. I make sure that any dishes that were not yet cleaned or put away are either in the dishwasher or cleaned and put away where they belong. And I make sure to throw in a load of laundry. And if there's a load of laundry in the dryer, I'll make sure and fold that and get those clothes away. Now, yes, there are absolutely some times that I do not feel like doing this, but every time I do it, not only do I feel so accomplished because I kept a commitment that I made to myself, but also I am so glad when I wake up the next morning to a refreshed, clean and happy space. I truly believe this is one of the most important pieces for setting yourself up to live your best it girl lifestyle is having a really pulled together space that is well taken care of. 
Tip number two for your physical environment is going to be making sure that you decorate it and have it well put together. Now, I know this is one thing that a lot of people tend to put off because it can be overwhelming. Maybe you don't have an eye for it or it can get really expensive. So my tip to you, especially if you're trying to do so on a budget is focus on art. Focus on having some nice art pieces up in your specific area and your domain. And if you wanna do so on a budget, my best recommendation for you is to jump onto Etsy and look up some art prints. Now you can get these prints for super inexpensive, sometimes under like $20, and they can be these massive prints. Order a frame off of Amazon for pretty cheap, frame it and hang those up on your wall. If you're renting, you can even hang these up with like command strips so that it doesn't damage any of the walls. Another great tip is some peel and stick wallpaper. This can take a little getting used to when you're applying it yourself, but you can get these super inexpensive and it can be a really fun way to spruce up a room and do so in a simple way that isn't going to leave a lot of mess or a lot of cleanup. Now a quick bonus tip for your physical environment is also the way that it smells. Now one thing about this is it can also help you to speed up your manifestations. I love to activate all of the senses when I'm trying to manifest something. So I like to keep my home stocked up with the smells of like my favorite luxury hotels and designer stores, things that make it feel really luxe and relaxing. But whatever your scent preference is, I highly encourage you to make sure that your area always smells nice. And a true pro tip here is to get a candle warmer. Now I'll drop my personal favorite one in the description of this video. It's just from Amazon, but they have so many adorable different designs. A candle warmer not only will make your candles last forever, so you're getting so much bang for your buck, but it's also much safer if you're like me and often leave a candle burning without blowing it out. Next up is your mental environment. So the first thing that you really need to focus on is to know what that looks like for you. I think a lot of times we fixate on what it looks like in someone else's video online or on Pinterest, but instead you need to spend some time really defining what it looks like for you. So I encourage you to actually journal about this and write out what you want your dream lifestyle to look like. I personally love to do this far into the future, so like 10 years from now, but also in my current reality. And so the difference there is the things that are gonna be more realistic in your current reality, but more elevated than you are right now. The more that you can make yourself familiar with that, the closer you are to pulling that in to your reality. The second thing about your mental environment is you wanna make sure that you're super intentional with your thoughts and your actions. So of course, this can come in the form of like a morning routine or a night routine, or it can just be something that you do throughout the day. But you wanna make sure that you are intentionally making the majority of your thoughts more positive and more aligned with what you want. So that's why it's super important to be clear on what you want, because now you can focus on journaling about that, saying affirmations related to it, and making that a more subconscious thought in your mind. And the last piece of your mental environment is what I like to call Call habit stacking. Now, habit stacking is such an incredible tool and can be really helpful for making these changes quickly. Essentially, it's finding the things in your daily routine, your daily life that you already do and stacking on some additional habits that you're trying to form. For me personally was to gua sha. I always wanted to get in this routine with a good facial gua sha, but for some reason I could never stick to it. I would always forget to do it or I would do it like after I had done my skincare. It just wasn't a good routine for me. And so now I've stacked that habit with getting in the shower. Every time I'm in the shower, I put my face wash on and I'm using the kind of like glide from that to do my gua sha routine in the shower. This way it's during something that I'm already doing every single day. Next up is your social environment. So this is who you are around, where you hang out and who you follow. So first things first, I want you to take a true assessment of the people you surround yourself with. Now, it can be really challenging to distance yourself from people who you realize may not be right for you. But when I started to really set some clear boundaries in my life and only surround myself with people that I felt are truly aligned with where I wanna go and what kind of goals I've set for myself, my world completely shifted. So I would encourage you to think about the people you have in your life right now. And the best example I can give you here is I like to think of relationships, friendships, and connections with people like a bookshelf. Imagine that you've got this bookshelf full of books. 
if you have your favorite book that you're reading currently, that one's probably gonna be right next to you on your bedside table. So that's something you're holding close to you because it's super aligned with what you're completing at that moment. Maybe your childhood books that you don't need to reference or read often are gonna go down on a lower shelf or up on a higher shelf out of reach. Same thing is true with people. You don't have to completely cut them off unless they're totally toxic, then please do, but you can just move them to a different shelf. Maybe it's someone you start talking to a little less, you stop reaching out to quite as much, and you start to create that intentional distance between you and someone who's not aligned with where you're trying to go. Next is getting around people that are aligned with where you're trying to go. And sometimes that can be challenging. So the best place I suggest you start is on social media. It is the easiest place to find people who are aligned with your same goals. As you do that, you're gonna start to see yourself elevate and get motivated by the people that you surround yourself with. And the last piece of your social environment is also the things that you go and do and the places that you hang out. When I wanted to change my life and start elevating to this better rich girl, soft girl life, I thought, okay, well, I need to go to a nice gym. I wanna make sure that I'm enrolled in Pilates classes. I'm gonna start hanging out at the higher end places in my local area. And that doesn't mean you have to go be this high roller and spend all this money there. That could mean that you just go and spend some more time there. You would be blown away at how many bars or restaurants you could just go and sit at and have a soda and maybe a little appetizer or a drink and an appetizer and hang out there and start to connect with higher net worth and higher level individuals just because you frequent that location. Another pro tip if you really cannot yet afford to be in some of these areas is see if you can't start involving yourself or even getting a part-time job. A great strategy, I live in sunny Scottsdale so we are surrounded by a bunch of golf courses and some of my friends are the golf cart beverage girls so that they can be around some of these higher level individuals. That's a great example of something that you don't have to do a lot of work for, but now you're putting yourself in those environments and bonus, you're getting paid to do so. So definitely start thinking about the areas that you're hanging out, the people you're surrounding yourself with and who you follow and engage with on social media. And last but not least is going to be your body environment. So this is probably one of the most tangible pieces of the it girl that girl transformation is to really elevate your body environment so the very first thing that I will always always focus on is being the healthiest version of yourself I was given this advice one time a long time ago by a mentor of mine and she said nothing looks better than healthy and at the time she was actually referring to my hair because I was so fixated on trying to elevate my physical appearance that I wanted to dye my hair and get highlights and cut it and do this and I had done so much to my hair that it was fried and starting to look unhealthy and she advised me no matter what the very best hairstyle color style anything will still look bad if your hair is unhealthy on the contrary if you focus on it being healthy you could do just about anything and it's gonna look amazing the same thing is true for your skin for your physical body everything looks best on healthy so focus on being in a healthy body getting active doing what you can to improve improve your skin, your hair, and honestly, some of the best things you can do for all of these things is to drink water, get active, and do one thing that I love called 30-30-30. 30, 30, 30 is honestly, in my opinion, the best way to absolutely scorch fat. It's great for women, for your hormones, and it tends to have a massive improvement on your skin. So 30, 30, 30 is within 30 minutes of waking up. You do 30 minutes of activity, like physical activity that could be just going for a walk around the neighborhood, or it could be doing a full workout or just some light stretching, and then consume 30 grams of protein. So 30, 30, 30, and of course, adjust that for your lifestyle, but the closer you can get to that goal is going to help you not only be in the best physical shape, but also feel really good from the inside out. And I think that is one of the best things you can do for your body environment. Next is of course, focusing on nourishing yourself with good foods. Focus on just replacing as much of the food that you consume with 
whole foods, things that are truly like vegetables and fruits rather than so many packaged things. And if you prepare for this appropriately, you can oftentimes set yourself up for success. So try and spend a couple of minutes the night before prepping some healthy snacks for yourself the next day. If you're in a location where you're near a Trader Joe's, I think that is the most cost-effective place to get really healthy, easy to eat stuff that is going to be really helpful with keeping your body environment in a great place. And the very last piece of your body environment that I think is so crucial is making sure that you've got good morning and nighttime routines. Try not to overwhelm this. I know some people who will dive into wanting to create their first morning routine and all of a the sudden they are doing like 15 things every single morning. Try to start with like three practices in the morning. One should be to chug water. I love the phrase, feet hit the ground, water I pound. So the second I wake up, my feet hit the ground, I've got a water glass right next to my bed that I can chug. That is not only going to help me wake up, but it's really good to nourish and kickstart your body. Next is probably going to be something for my mental stimulation. So I like to journal, read my Bible, pray, do something that gets your mind going a little bit and helps you connect with your mentality and your faith. And last but not least is something physical. So again, if you can go and get a little physical activity in the morning, that's best. But even if it's just some light stretching, that can be really good to get your blood flowing and start pumping some energy through your body. So remember, I always like to focus on these four environments in order to really elevate my life and become the true it girl in my life. I hope that these tips, tricks, and strategies help you to become that girl and live your absolute best life. If you follow some of these and implement them in your own practice, I know you're going to start looking, feeling, and living better in no time at all. And that to me is truly what it means to be that girl. If you've got any questions or want me to dive deeper on any of these topics, drop your questions in the comments below. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.